Hey guys, how are you? Good to see you. Welcome, Ricardo. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. Hello. How was your day, man? What do you do? Hi. Everything good? Nice, nice, nice. Rodrigo, welcome. Nice to see you here. How was your day? How was work? Fine. Everything, everything good, Rodrigo? Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Thank you. All right. Maylin, tell me, how was your work today? I'm fine, teacher. My work is hard today because I have a different reunion with other person. Oh, you have you had a you had a meeting with someone? Yes. Okay. All right. Nice. Um, good to hear that. Ingrid, how was your day, Ingrid? Nice having you here. Hi. How are you? I'm great. How about you? I'm so tired because I tired. <laughs> you you feel I, hot? Uh, um... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Why? Why? Where? Where, uh, where are you connecting from? Where? Where do you live? What part of the country do you live in? Yeah, but in Tecla. Oh, in Tecla. Oh, I live. I live in Tecla too, but it's not hot. <laughs> it's not hot. Santa Tecla is not hot. I'm hot because I um, I go too fast to hear in here uh, in, in my house uh, early. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Anyways, guys, so we're just going to give, uh, <clears throat> we're just, I'm sorry. We're just going to give a um, couple of minutes to everybody else to join in. All right. And then we're going to get started. Okay. Yeah, Rafael, how was your, how was work today, Rafael? What do you do? Um, hi, um, kind of boring because um, there isn't a uh, move and only uh, stay in the office and the phone doesn't work and it was so boring. <laughs> all right, all right, sounds good, sounds good. Okay, guys, all right. So let me see what happened with the, with these uh, kids. So so what do you do? Um, what do you do in your workplace, Rafael? In my work, uh, we uh, bring support to print uh, some print uh, uh, print en enterprise and right. you give support to a printing company yeah yeah okay all right all right that's great David welcome David Ilda nice seeing you Ilda, how are you how are you guys Everything good? Everything good today, tonight, Elda? All right, guys, so let's get started, guys. So today we're gonna talk about passive voice, okay? Now, let me ask you something, guys. Has anybody here, uh, has anybody here heard about passive voice? Who has heard anything about passive voice? Can you ask which child to get a passive voice here, guys? Me. All right. Uh, thank you, David. Tell us, okay? What do you know about passive voice? Okay, Kesavius has a passive voice. Well, recently, recent, recently, recently, I, I, the course in the platform. Mm -hmm. And I can. I think I think your connection, Ooh. David. I think your connection Ooh. is break, breaking up. Ooh. Okay, you want to give up? 
Yes, I'm sorry, David. I think your connection is not working. All right. Very good, guys. You, so you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Go ahead. So I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, your your line. You know, your connection was breaking up for a minute. So go ahead. All right, guys. So, anyways, uh, let's move on, guys. All right. So, what's the objective for tonight? I'm sorry, David. I <laughs> I don't know what happened to your connection. I think your connection is working now. If you want, go ahead and say what you were saying again. David. Tell me. I have a question. No. What is no. the material for the class? The material is the platform. It's only the platform. Yes, you'll find everything in the platform. Yes. So you got the exercises, uh, you got the explanations, you 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 got the videos, uh, the video explanation in the platform. Okay. All right. uh, be, uh, um, my question is because the the other teacher sent the WhatsApp the material. Okay. No, there is there is no um so there is another program that uh, where you have material, but this one is just is the platform. The material is is your platform. All right. So um, so that's it. That's why, you know, the, the most important thing is to work on the platform. All right. But anyways, um, thank you. All right. Very good. But you'll get exercises here. So. Um, so, guys, what's today's objective? All right. Uh, let's see. Ingrid, help me read. What's today's objective? In this class, participants will be will be first introduced to passive voice using by. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pronunciation, right? Very good, guys. So we're gonna talk about passive voice today, okay? So we're gonna talk about passive voice, and there's gonna be practice, all right? So uh, first of all, guys, okay, let's take a look at when we use passive voice, okay? So example number one. Uh, let's see guys, who'd like to help me read? Welcome Jenny, Tatiana, Jose, Giovanni. All right, nice to see you. Okay guys, so uh, Rodrigo, all right. Thank you. So what is the first usage of passive voice? Uh, the number one is, we don't know who did the action. Okay, write this down in your notebook guys, okay? All right. Please have it written down in your notebooks. All right, so we, we don't know who did the action. Okay, all right, very good. Second, uh, second um, reason on, uh, well, second usage of, of uh, passive voice, guys, okay? And it says scratch, hold on guys, give me one second. Give me one second here. That title. All right. So first off, guys, okay, when we don't know, all right, let me present it again. So we, we, we don't know who did the action, right? This is like, this, this is like, like, you like your ex-boyfriend or ex, ex toxica or toxica, right? And uh, cheating on you and you didn't know, right? So we don't know, guys, okay, you, when you don't know who they're cheating with, you know, that we can use passive words there, right? Um, I'm kidding, guys, right? But we, we don't know, okay? All right, so let's talk about that, okay? Um, write this down, guys, because we're going to go through each of them, right? Also, guys, number two, um, what else? Uh, Jennifer, help me read. What is the use of number two? This is me, Jennifer, or Jenny Quesada? I said, uh, I, Jenny, I think it's you, Jenny Quesada, whoever is talking right now. <laughs> uh, the number two. Yes. I, uh, I have a problem with the, the audio. I, I, I don't understand. Oh, I, 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 just, I, I, I just need you to read. Okay, 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 sorry. That's okay. Uh, there is no door of the action. There is and... no hold on, hold on, hold on, okay, right? I told you guys I would correct you, right? So there is no doer, okay. repeat. There is no doer of the action. Everybody repeat. There is no doer of the action. There is no doer in no the doer action. No doer of the action. 
Okay. All right. There is no doer of there the action. And door. very good. And number three. There is no doer of the action. All right. Uh, number three, Ricardo, help me read. Uh, the fact is more important than the door of the action. Okay. How do we pronounce this, guys? We just, we just practiced it. Okay. How do we pronounce this? Doer. Doer. Repeat, guys. Doer. 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 Okay. Right. Then the doer of the action. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what does this mean? All right. That's, that's what we're going to learn today, guys. Okay. So notice, guys, that we have active voice and we have passive voice. Okay. We usually, guys, did you know that in Spanish, guys, we actually talk uh, a lot in passive voice. In Espanol, guys, usamos el passive voice un montón, you know. But in English, it's not so commonly used, okay. So, um, so what does the passive voice do? ¿Qué hace, el, uh, ¿Qué hace la voz pasiva? ¿Qué hace the passive voice? Um, let's see, Tatiana, all right, help me read. ¿Qué hace el, el passive voice? ¿Qué hace el pasivo? Um, the passive change the focus of a sentences for the simple pass and use the pass of of B plus pass participle. Very good. Okay, repeat guys. Changes. This is changes. Change. Changes. changes. Okay, repeat that Diana. The passive changes. The passive changes changes right very good it's third person right very good guys okay so this guy changes the focus of a sentence okay so we're gonna we're gonna focus on this okay it changes the focus okay this is what it does changes the focus of a sentence all right now i'll give you more examples okay um but let's read the first one let's see who wants to help me read guys quickly 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 if not i'm gonna pick okay all right ilda all right ilda let's read the example in active voice okay active uh the read the paragraph yes, yes. okay paragraph active the president opened the building in 1931. very good let's repeat that president that president opened opened the, the building, building in the building, the building, in nineteen in nineteen thirty one, in nineteen thirty one. Very good, good job. Okay. okay. All right. Notice, guys, that we're starting here with the subject of the sentence. What is the subject of this sentence here, guys? If I said the, the president, president opened, the president. Okay, it is the president. Okay. Now check this out. It is the same sentence, guys. But where is the president in this sentence, guys? By the president. Okay, the president. Okay, He's now not. the president here is not the subject anymore, guys. Okay, it is it. So here, guys, we're focusing. We're focusing, guys, on what? What? What do you think we're focusing on here? The president or opening the building in 1993? The president. Okay, we're, we're focusing. We're focusing on the president. Okay, here, guys, we're focusing. We're focusing on the fact that he opened building okay so it changes now notice guys that there is a difference all right there is a difference in, there is a change in the verb all right one of them is in past participle one the other one is in simple past but we're gonna i'm gonna give you more details on that later okay all right right now just just take a look at this okay the focus on the first sentence is the president the focus on the second and on, in passive voice is um that it was opened by the president okay all right, uh, second example. Let's see, Jose Ilam, Chicas, Jose Chicas. Active voice. Jose? Uh, an American architect designed the building. Repeat, an American architect. An American architect designed, designed the building. The building. Okay, very good. Okay. All right, where's the focus here, guys? Where's the focus in this sentence? An American architect. An American architect, right? An American architect, right? 
Okay, now when we go to passive voice, where do we find the focus? Donde vemos el enfoque en la segunda oración con passive voice? In the complement. Very good, okay. So it is, right, that it was designed, okay? It was. So, all right. Time for you to teach me, guys, okay? I'm going to give you, no, guys, I'm going to give you an example and you're, I'm going to give you access to my computer so you can teach us, okay? All right, and then you're going to practice, guys. All right, so first of all, all right, let's talk about active voice. Now, all right, so we're going to talk about active voice. And over here, we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about passive voice, okay? All right. Now, over here, guys, when we talk about, when we talk about active voice, all right? So over here, uh, if I say a sentence, guys, give me, give me a sentence, guys, give me a sentence, uh, give me a sentence in simple past, okay? Let's go about simple past here. All right. Can somebody give me a sentence in simple past? Alguien me puede dar una oración en pasado simple. I crossed the river yesterday. Okay. I crossed, right? I crossed the river yesterday okay all right i like this okay uh, all right now i want somebody to give me an example of a sentence in simple past with an irregular verb quiero que alguien me dé una oración en pasado simple con un verbo irregular um, I, I went shopping yesterday okay all right no Just Cheyenne i went, went shopping i went Yes, right. Let's say Cheyenne, right? Oh, okay. Just because third person, right? Let's practice with third person, right? Example. <laughs> All right, now, very good, okay? All right, guys, go oh. ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry, you were going to say something. Dale, dale. Yeah. Other, other example, uh, oh. I had a test yesterday. I had a test yesterday. Very good, irregular verb, right? Let's change ad for another. Give me an out, guys. Give me an out. All right, Shakira. Okay, let's go with Shakira. Right, Shakira had a test yesterday. Okay, all right. Very good, guys. So we have three examples of active voice. Okay, so active voice, guys. Okay, we let's let's break this down. Okay, we usually have a subject, 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 subject. Yes. Sí, todos pueden ver que todos tenemos un sujeto al principio. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. So, to understand passive voice, you have to be familiar with two terms. Para entender el passive voice, tienes que estar familiarizado con dos términos. Okay. First one is um, a subject and an object. Do we know the difference between a subject and an object? Yes. Okay, what is the difference between between a subject and an object, guys? Okay, like what difference between the two? The subject is that the produce the action or Very the good. errands, and right. the object is the receive. The, the object is, you know, what receives or who receives the action, right? Very good, okay. Okay. So, this, guys, all right, these have one thing in common, okay? Yeah. What do you think that they have in common? ¿Qué tienen en común ellos, guys? All right, they have in common, guys. All right, they can both be nouns, all right, or pronouns, okay? What do they have in common? The nouns, the pronouns. Okay, all right. So, los sujetos, guys, los uh, sujetos de la oración, right, y el objeto de la oración, los dos pueden ser so, uh, nouns, pueden ser sustantivos, right? Nouns, or they can be not pronouns, pronombres, right? Both of them. But the difference, guys, okay, so they, this is what they have in common, right? But the difference, there is a difference, right? All right. All right, this is the part. All right, this is the reason why, you know, they broke up, right? So they, they were a couple just like you and your ex, right? And they broke up, guys, right? 
So they broke up, guys, because they had differences, okay? Right? Ellos eran una pareja y así como vos y tu ex pareja rompieron porque tenían diferencias, right? So, anyway, so what are those differences? What are the differences that we have here? Um, you mentioned it. So one of you uh, mentioned this, guys. I forgot who, who was that. Who that was, I'm sorry. I think that was you, Ricardo, right? I'm not mistaken. All right. So the difference, guys, the difference is that the subject, okay? Well, let, let, all right. So the subject, do it like this, okay? This is the producer, guys. Producer, or this is like you know, um, yeah, the producer, the producer of the action. Okay, el sujeto es el que produce la acción, guys. Right, and the object is you know whatever or whoever, right, receives the action. Okay, so far so good. Hasta ahora todo bien. Yes, clear as vodka. Yes, or chata. All right, claro, claro como. Chata clear. Vodka, right? <laughs> no, that's bad, bad chata, chata clear. That's that's bad, all right. Anyways, all right. All right, so those guys entendemos cuál es la diferencia entre el sujeto y el objeto. Yes? Okay, beautiful, guys, okay. All right, awesome. So let me raise this. Take a screenshot, guys. Send it to the WhatsApp group if you want, guys. Okay, All right. Anyways, so going back to the examples, we can transform all of these sentences, guys, in passive voice. Podemos transformar todas esas oraciones a una voz pasiva. All right. What that accomplishes is the change of the focus, the focus on the sentence. Okay. Lo que cambia es el enfoque en la oración. Okay. So. Right now, here, you know, I am focused on I, Cheyenne, Shakira, right? Me estoy enfocando en los ídolos de los treintones, cuarentones, right? Right? This is what I'm being focused on, okay? All right. So with passive voice, guys, all right, what we do is that we, we change that, okay? And how do we do that? All right. Now, what is, if I say, guys, I crossed the river yesterday, do we have, do I have an object there? Do, do I have an object in this sentence, guys? Yes, the river. Okay, the river is the object, okay, right? Think about this, guys, okay? This is the object, and I is the subject, yes? Yes. Yes, okay, yes. very good. So what we're gonna do, guys, right? We're gonna do the exact same thing, all right? The ex toxic or ex toxic I did to you, right? Lo vamos a cambiar, right? So that's what we're gonna do. Great. So we're gonna change positions, okay? So in, in this case, guys, we're gonna focus now on the river, see? So the river, guys, okay, the river, so we're gonna use the object now. This is not the object anymore. This is gonna be the subject, I right? Remember that. But we're gonna use the object, right? The object is gonna go to the first position, all right? Mm -hmm. So the river, and then guys, we are talking in, we're talking in simple past here. So we have to use, if, I, if we have to use the verb be, the verb be in simple past. For third person, guys, what is the, the, what is the verb be in simple past that we're going to use? ¿Cuál es en tercera persona, was. guys? All right, yeah. very good. All right, very good. Good, good was. job, right? So we're going to use the river was, right? The river was. And then, guys, there's something called past participles, okay? Now, you have to be familiar with past participles, too. Past participles, okay? So... All right, let's do a small pause here, guys. Vamos a hacer una pequeña pausa aquí because I want you to tell me what is a past participle. ¿Qué es un past participle, guys? All right, I'll tell you, okay? Le voy a decir, all right? I'm going to tell you, okay? A past participle, guys, is, all right, the third form of the verb okay right it's like if you watch dragon ball guys that would be like super saiyan 3 all right because guys you have a base form all right, okay so 
you have a base form. Um, that that color is very shocking. All right, let's use this one. Right. So you get a base form, which is, for example, guys. Let's let's use the the verb uh, the verb cross, right? So cross is the base form. The base form, right? I cross the river every day, in simple present. We have a simple past form. Okay, simple past. All right, this is what is it, guys? Crossed, right? Right, crossed. Okay, and you have a past participle, uh, a past participle form. Okay, and this is again, if it is regular, the past participle will be the same, crossed. Okay, however, if it is irregular, guys, it's not gonna be the same. <clears throat> All right. So in this case, guys, if it is irregular you are going to have a different result. So you're going to use, for example, all right, um, for example, the verb go, right? What is the simple past of the verb go, guys? When. All right, so this is, right, so base form. All right, so you got go, uh, simple past. You got when, when okay, and past participle? Gone. All right. Okay. So the past participle. Okay. Past participle is gone. Got it. All right. So far so good. Yes. Okay. Very beautiful, guys. Okay. It's just a reminder what a past participle is. Okay. If you want to take a screenshot, I don't mind. Okay. Send it to the WhatsApp group. That would be great. Okay. So, anyways. So here, guys, you have to use a past participle. Okay. In esta parte, vos tenés que usar un past participle. Okay, now the reason why I'm highlighting that, and I'm, I'm strongly pointing that out, guys, is because I do not want you to to uh, confuse cross, guys, here is in simple past. But the cross that we need here, guys, needs to be in past participle. So what is, guys, let me answer this question. Let me let me ask this question, okay? What is the past participle of cross? Cross. It's so regular. Right? Crossed. Not cross, crossed. Okay, with a tad at the end. Cool. All, right. All right, the river was crossed. Now, here, guys, this is optional, right? You can remember one of the first things that we mentioned of uh, passive voice. All right, when we don't know wow. who did the action, right? Cuando no sabemos quién hizo la acción. Cuando no sabemos quién hizo la acción, when we don't know who did the action, guys, you don't need to use by, okay? No necesitas usar by. Hasta aquí lo dejas. The river was crossed yesterday, right? Si? ¿Sí? Sabemos quién lo hizo, sí o no? Hey, yes. No, in this sense, if I said, guys, if I said the river was crossed yesterday, do I know who did it? Yes or no? Yes, no. Did by me. Yes, but if I'm not using by, um, okay. <laughs> right? If I am not using by, I do not know who did it. Got it? Si vos no sabes by, no sabes quién lo hizo, right? Mm -hmm. But the sentence is correct. Now, if you know who did it, right, then you can say by me, right? In this case, you're not going to say by I because you're going to use, all right, how do we call the me, you, her? What's the C pronoun? M. Okay, very good. All right. Now, that, that's not a possessive. No, it's not a possessive pronoun. No. It is a pronoun, but it is called an object pronoun. Okay. okay. All right. An object pronoun, right? So that's it, guys. Okay. So uh, let's take a look at the second example. Now you guys are gonna um, are gonna try to explain that to me. Okay, I'm gonna ask everybody, all right? But before we go there, let me all right. Let me just give you another tip. Okay, this is the structure, guys. All right, the structure for passive voice. Okay. So what is the first thing that we have in passive voice, guys? What's the first thing that we find in passive voice? ¿Cuál es la primera cosa que encontramos en la estructura de passive voice? The object. The object. The object. In a change position, subject, guys, the, right, right, the object subject. becomes the subject, okay? El objeto se convierte en sujeto, right? So you got the subject, okay? Okay, so you got the subject. What else? Uh, Water. Where B in simple path. Okay, B in, so I'm going to say was or where, right? Was or where. 
All right, what else? Past participle. Past participle verb. Okay, then we have the past participle, okay. And then what else? Complement. Okay. All right, the past participle and the... now this is optional. You can use by here, okay? Optional, okay? It is optional. And then you have whoever did it, right? Which that would be a noun or a pronoun. And then you know you have the complement. However, all right, take into consideration that this is going to be this right here, guys, is going to be optional, okay? So I'm going to put it like this, just because this is optional, okay? So this is the structure for passive voice, all right? Easy peasy, right? Now, don't yeah. focus too much, guys, on the grammar part, okay? No se enfoquen tanto cuando están hablando, guys. Whenever, whenever you're talking, nobody's talking, nobody's thinking about grammar. Ay, ¿qué pongo primero? El sujeto. Después viene uh, el verbi. Y después, ¿qué más? You're not going to think about that, guys. Just... Just, all right, whenever you you speak, guys, okay, just think about, hey, does it make sense for me or does it not make sense for me, right? And you go from there, okay? Tiene sentido lo que estoy diciendo, no tiene sentido, right? And that, then you go from there, right? Grammar is useful, guys. La gramática te sirve cuando de verdad tenés una... Uy, creo que lo dije mal, right? And then you go back in your mind, you know, to the grammar part, and you say, oh, okay, it's because I was not using the past participle, right? So that's that's where, you know, where, where grammar comes into, well, becomes very helpful, okay? All right, anyways, okay, so now guys, it's your turn, okay, so who wants to help me, all right, so who wants to help me translate the second sentence into a passive voice uh, sentence? Quien me ayuda con la segunda, guys, right? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go, applause for Ricardo, good job, Ricardo. All right, great job, thank you. Uh, Ricardo, let's go. Let's transform. Cho that. Choking. Mm -hmm. and choking was when was gone yesterday. Mm -hmm. I said, Jan. Jan went shopping yesterday. All right. Can we transform that into passive voice, guys? The shopping was gone was gone um, by Chayanne yesterday. Now I want you to notice something, guys. You have to make sense of the sentence, okay? All right. Tienes que hacer sentido. Tienes que tener sentido las oraciones. All right, guys. So do you remember the second usage? ¿Quién recuerda el segundo uso, guys? The passive voice. When I was. Okay. Let me ask you something. Do we have an object here? There is not a doer. When when okay. there is not there, a doer. There is a there is a doer. Chay Chayanne was the doer. Okay. Yeah. All right. There is no what. What are we missing here? Que estamos. Que no falta aquí, guys. An object. An object, guys. No tenemos object in this sentence. Got it? All right. If we don't have an object, guys, okay. We cannot transform that sentence. You can do something about it. You can say, you know, shopping, right, was done by Chayanne yesterday. All right? So you can say something like that, right? That is passive voice. But there, then we're adding, right? We cannot, we're not really transforming this exact sentence. We're just adding, uh, we're adding a verb. We're adding another verb here, all right? Uh, because we don't have an object. If, you know, if a sentence, guys, does not have an object, you cannot, you will not be able to transform it uh, without adding anything extra. Got it? Si tu oración no tiene un objeto, all right? Acordate que un objeto es algo que lo que vos le causas algo, right? Si no tiene un objeto, guys, a lo que el sujeto le esté causando algo, entonces no puedes transformarlo en passive voice. Got it? Right? Got it. You, can, you can't say shopping... <laughs> Uh, shopping was gone by Cheyenne. It doesn't make sense, guys. La compra fue ida por yeah. Cheyenne, right? See, it doesn't make sense, right? Because shopping, guys, is not the the uh, it's not the object of the sense. Okay, so this one, right? Nellis, right? Now, Shakira had a test yesterday. Right? Do we have an object here? Yes or no? The test. 
right. This is an object. Okay, right. So how can we transform this? The test. Uh huh. We're at test, right? We're gonna use different article. Right? At test. Let's change. At test. Uh, was made. A test by Shakira yesterday. Okay, a test was was made. Now we have a subject here, but we need to take we uh, we will need to change the the sub the the, the verb guys. Mistaken. Okay. Taken. Or instead of had guys, the thing is that when we say had guys, we're actually referring to Shakira taking a test, right? That's what it means in reality. We cannot say that Shakira was a test was had. I mean, you could say this: a test was had by Shakira, right? Yesterday. But since we we cannot use guys was had, all right? It is grammatically correct, guys. But the verb had is incorrect here. So what you do, guys, change this, change the same, change the verb, okay? To taken, right? That makes more sense, okay? But technically, guys, this is correct too, right? Technically, guys, this is correct. It's just the only thing that we're not, um, this is not really possible is because the, you know, what's had does not, it's not a verb that you would use when talking about a test being taken. You said taken, okay? So if you want to make more sense of this, si, si, si están confundido con esto, cambien el verbo de Shakira had a test for it. Shakira took a test, okay? Because this is what you had, all right? Shakira took a test, all right? Now, the reason why, guys, is because there is another thing that you have to know. You have to use action verbs, okay? You have to use what? Action verb. Can you use action verbs? Si saben que son action verbs. If I say, guys, I have, you know, all right, have, for example, is a, is a, is a stative verb. Es un verbo stative, okay? Que demuestra estado, right? It can be used as an action verb sometimes, but in this case, guys, Shakira had a test. It's not being used as an action verb, okay? No es un action verb. Entonces, otra cosa que tenés que tener en la mente que tiene que ser un action verb. Taken is an action verb, right? Take is an action verb, okay? So change had, guys, for take, and you're good, okay? Cambialo por take, and you're good, right? Sounds good? All right, very good, yeah. guys, very good, okay. All right, any questions so far, guys? Alguna pregunta ahorita? Any questions? Yes, I had a one. Uh, in no. other class, I learned about the the gerund verb with ing in the end. It can be an object. Mm -hmm. and what is your question? Mm -hmm. uh, that in the case of the passive voice, I remember that the teacher use uh, ing verb like an object in the first part of the sentence. Yes. Um, yeah, you can do that. Um, the uh, reason why is because you can use any tense that you want, okay? Um, so you're saying something like, you know, um, I don't know, painting uh, has been done on this house right so this is you're using a gerund as the subject of the sentence here you know and you can say for example um uh, chayad you know uh has painted this house right or um so so yeah i mean to answer your question uh guys you can use other other uh other tenses okay Se le puede usar otros tiempos gramaticales. All right, that is no problem. We're not seeing gerunds and infinitives, but you can use a gerund as a noun. Puedo usar un, un, un gerundio como un sustantivo. All right. Uh, did this answer your question, Ricardo? Yes. Okay, very good. So, but yeah, guys. Um, any other question, guys? That was a good question, man. Thank you. Uh, any other question, guys? No. Okay. We can do more example. Yes, you're actually gonna do exercises right now and then you're gonna talk. Okay. Um all right, so I have a couple of exercises here, guys. All right. So it's your turn. You're gonna couple uh, I'm gonna couple you up, guys, and you're gonna solve these 
and then we're gonna come back here and you are going to give me the answers okay all right so all of these guys all of this um, is in passive voice okay todos estos están en voz pasiva okay your job is to turn them into passive voice okay su trabajo va a ser ponerlas en voz pasiva for example guys John collects money what is the passive voice here the money was collect collected okay. Now, remember, guys, I, I mentioned something, okay? Le, me, le acabo de mencionar algo. All right, tal vez en eso sí le voy a dar un poquito más de ejemplos, okay? So I'm going to give you more examples here. All right, so you guys, passive voice, right? Passive voice can be used um, with any tense, okay? All right? And you have to be careful with that. El ejemplo que yo le di, right? The example that I gave you was in simple past. Which means, guys, that we were using, you know, was and where. Got it? Because we were talking in simple past. Give me a sentence, guys, with a subject and an object in simple present. Deme una oración, guys, in simple present con un sujeto y un, y un objeto. I say... In simple present. Yes. I send I send uh, the messages in my friend. I send messages to my friends. Oh, all right, all right, pretty good. Okay, pretty good. We can use this. That's okay. All right. Very good, guys. So simple present. Okay. So now, guys, let's use the same structure but focus on the tense. Okay. So in this case, guys, what is the what what do we start with? Okay, let's uh, let's let's uh, go to passive voice. Con qué empezamos aquí, guys? How do we start transforming this? Mailing. How do we start transforming this? Remember, guys, what is the first thing that we do? We're, we identify the subject and the object, right? Identificar el sujeto y el objeto, right? What is the, uh, what is the subject here, uh, Meli? Okay. All right, what is the object? ¿Cuál es el objeto? Send messages. Messages is the object, not send messages, okay? This is the subject and this is the object, okay? So what goes here first? ¿Qué ponemos aquí primero? Uh, Jenny Quesada, what do we place here first? Message. Very good, okay. Messages, right? Messages. All right, so we place, that's okay, right? Messages, okay. Very beautiful, okay? Now we need the verb be, guys. Now here's the change, okay? Aquí, es, aquí está el truco, guys, okay? Esto es en presente, right? So no vamos a poner what's or where. What are we going to place here? Yes. Messages? Yes. <laughs> No, not is, guys. Porque es plural. R. R, very good. Messages R. R. Very good, okay. Now we need, what else do we need, guys, according to the structure? ¿Qué más necesitamos? Uh, Rafael, what else do we need? Past participle. Past participle, okay. So what is the past participle of send? Send. Uh, send. send. Very good, okay. Send, very good. Messages are being sent. Now, now. We, this is correct, right? But now we want to know, right? Yeah, we we want to know to whom, right? Queremos saber a quién, por ejemplo. All right? Entonces, es opcional, right? Ponemos, what do we need here? We need what preposition here? By me. By, we need by, right? By me. Very good. Good job, guys. Good job, all right? All right? Is that part two, you guys? Esta, esta parte está, está clara? Right? So, es la misma estructura, yeah, right? Very good. Let's see, guys. All right, let's let's try. Let's try simple future. Okay. Do you think that we can be that we can um we can use this with simple future? Can I get one more of simple future? Yes. Any tense is just just that. Let's say right. Uh, yes. All right. Let's let's try. Let's try the same example. Right. I will send messages to my friends. Is that simple future? Yes or no? Yes. yes. All right. All right. Todos concordamos que es simple future, right? So very good, guys. Very good, okay? All right. So now you do it, guys. I'm not going to help you with this. How do you transform this into, into passive voice? ¿Cómo lo transformas en passive voice? 
messages will send. Nope, that's incorrect. Messages, that's good. Messages, messages will be are going will to be sent. Send. Will I will be sent? Very good. Will, will be, be guys. Okay. El futuro de B, guys, is will be. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right. Messages will be sent by me. Very good. Good job. Close for David, guys. Good job, David. All right. Very good. Thank you. All right. Uh, give me another tense, guys. Vamos a probar con tense. Give me another tense. What else do you want? ¿Qué más quieren? ¿Qué, qué, otro, qué otro tiempo gramatical quieren? Hey, let me take a look at the exes. I uh, know. We're in the window. We have done it. Oh, Present continuous. That's that's the same pres simple present, man. Um, something more difficult. Um, I mean, I I will be I will uh, hold on. I am sending messages to my friend, right? I'll, I'm just gonna do it quickly for you, but I don't want I, I don't want that example because that's that's the same procedure as with simple present. I am sending messages to my friends, right? Present continuous. How do we transform this, guys? Easy peasy. How do we transform this? ¿Cómo lo transformamos? Messages are sending. No, 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 no. Messages are being, okay? Ah, uh, being. All right, you cannot forget, okay? All right, you cannot forget this, okay? All right, messages are being sent by, I mean, to my friends, okay? By me, right? Got it? See? Very good. So, uh, let's see. Present perfect, guys. All right? I, let's see. Uh, what is this sentence in present perfect, guys? What is that? How do, what is this sentence in simple present? How can we make this, in, I mean, present perfect? I'm sorry. Dame esta oración pero presente perfecto. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll help you guys. All right, because there's no time. I have. Friends, okay. All right. Ahora tenemos presente perfecto, right? I have sent messages to my friend. Again. All right. Let's try it. Igor Palacios. Let's see. Go ahead. Messages. Um. Messages. Now, keep in mind, guys, that we're talking in present perfect. Say, la estructura simple, the present perfect. Messages. Have. Sam. Ben. Very okay. good. Have been. Have been. Uh -huh. Guys, no se olviden del verb be, okay? All right. Have been what? Lo demás es lo mismo. La estructura. Have been what? Have been yeah, sent. So to my friends, all right, by me, all right, very good, good job, Ingrid, thank you, all right, now, guys, okay, uh, does that make sense, tiene sentido, guys, yes, no, yes, but I, I have a couple of questions, Tell me. Um, in, in, in the case of the simple, uh, simple future, and and present continuous, uh -huh. you are using you. Uh, you are using um, will and are like a kind of auxiliary verb. Yes, will is an auxiliary. And uh -huh. are is an auxiliary. And are. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. Yes. The problem. The thing is that are. All right. Remember, be. You you can't say messages being sent, right? Are being sent. All right, this are being sent is still present continuous. You need to keep using present continuous, okay? So you cannot say are in, are in sent, right? No exist are in, right? No, no. Okay, all right. Um, if you want to translate it, right? It's like in Spanish, it's the same, right? It's, in Spanish, it's the same. Mensajes están siendo, ese están siendo are being, got it? You don't say mensajes, es, mensajes siendo enviados. No, están siendo, okay? All right, that's how you do it. Okay. Very okay, good, guys. You. Okay. All right. So, uh, any other question, guys? Alguna otra pregunta? Si les quedó claro? All right. Beautiful. You're going to practice, okay? Tienen que practicar para que les quede claro, guys. All right. So, I'm going to get you um, 
Please take a screenshot, guys. Somebody take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group. Alguien, por favor, que me tome un screenshot acá y lo envíe al WhatsApp group. All right. Please let me know when you are done. Okay. Don't worry, guys. We're going to see this tomorrow, too. Okay. Vamos a ver más práctica de esto mañana porque I know una hora no es nada, guys, para enseñar un topic así, right? So, uh, you're going to get more practice tomorrow, okay? So, guys, very good. Now that you took a screenshot, guys, um, you have... I'm going to give you seven minutes to finish them, okay? Te voy a dar siete minutos para que lo termine, okay? All right? And where it doesn't finish, guys, it's out of the it's out of the curse. I'm kidding, guys. You're, you're going to be here. Don't worry. All right, very good, guys. So, let's go. Let's go. Mama. Okay. Mama. Do you have a screenshot? Yes, I have the screenshot. Let me see. Let me see it in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Any questions, guys? We're good. Hi. Hi, guys. Good night. Hello. Sorry, I'm not in my laptop. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, don't worry. Like the information, it's more the, the questions were, the, yes, the questions were sent to the WhatsApp group. You can, you can see okay. them from there. Okay. Okay. Yes, any questions? No, I start. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay, the number one. John collects money. The object is the money. Tatiana, Rodrigo? Yeah, my, I, I suggest that the sentence is complete. Is, it will be money, monies are collected by John. Money. Money collect. Money are collected by John. Money is, um, guys, uh -huh. is not are, is. Is. is money. Money, money is singular, money. Yes, it's it's non countable. Um, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Money is, is collected by John. Yes, there you go. Pretty good. By John. So number two, the object. Ingrid, you need to join a room, Ingrid. How are you? Hey, uh, all right, Ingrid, I got you together with someone. Uh, um, so I need it so, so, so you can practice, okay? There you go. I'm sorry, Jenny. I moved you. I moved you over. I, here. I have a teacher. Up. Tengo encendida mi computadora y mi teléfono por el problema de la cámara. Entonces okay. creo que por eso es que me saca de un grupo. No sé cómo hacer en ese caso. 
Porque tengo dos dispositivos encendidos. Stay here. Stay here. Right. Ok, ok. Right. Ok. Ok, ahora mi... A ver. Ok. Ingrid. Hello, Ingrid. You might Hello. Ok. Ok. I share the, the screenshot. I, I don't understand it. Okay. Hi. You can see the, 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 my screen? Yes, I can. Okay. Okay. In the number one, mm -hmm. do you have the number one? Yes, uh, the, mo the money was collected by John. Is Remember, it's collected. collected, collected, not it's collected. collected. It's collected. I have a question, teacher. Tell me. In the number two. Yes. The mm -hmm. window was opening? Opened. Oh, by Anna. Opened. Yes. Uh, opened Anna. by Anna. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Opened. That is correct. The window was opened. Mm -hmm. Bye. Mm -hmm. Anna. Okay. The number three. The number three, yeah. the object. I what is the object? Homework. The homework was done by us. It's going. Homework. homework. Let me see homework. Homework. Yo puse was done by us. Homework. Esa sí no la. No sé si está bien. Ahorita voy. ¿Cómo puso usted? Sorry. Yo puse the homework was done by us. Was done by us, pero no sé si está bien. Homework was done by us, or the homework was done by us. That's that's okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Right, but now Spanish. Okay? <laughs> David, I sent you a message David. on the WhatsApp group, so you can take a look at. The structure of uh, passive, passive voice. Okay, yes, ask me. Ah, uh, yeah, we we have a question. And in the sentence number one, the sentence, the original sentence is in simple present. And so when we transform the the, the sentences to transform, passive voice, not transform, transform, yes. transform uh, to to passive voice, uh, we need to use the auxiliary verb in simple present too, right? Um, what example are you talking about? Uh, John collect money. John collects money. Collects money. Yeah, money was collected by John. That, that's correct. You don't say, uh, well, you need to say money is collected by John. Uh-huh. But in this case, the original sentence, sentences is in is in he can't. simple present. Uh huh. He can't. He can't out of yeah. So, what is your question? Uh, after after object, uh, what kind of verb we uh, we must to yes. to put? We use. All right, no, not verb. Uh, well, I under, oh, I understand your question now. Uh, the picture can't be cut out. That's the question. That's the answer. You need to use the model. Okay. All right. Good question, though. I hadn't seen that yeah, that example, but you're right. The picture yeah. can't be cut. It. Uh, actually, it's not cut. It cut. It doesn't exist. It's cut out. Cut. 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 Cut is present. Cut is uh, past, and cut is the past participle. The picture can okay. be cut out, of, uh, cut out by him, okay? Okay. Right. 
Forget. Any other questions? Um, the 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 other sentences are correct. Money. Well, money is collected, not was collected. Uh, you need to change it to simple present. And and the window was opened by Anna. That's good. Homework has been done by us. Yes, that's good. Uh, I will ask questions. Questions will be asked by me. That that is also correct. Yeah, everything else is good except for number one. Okay. All right, we're good. All right, good job. We're gonna go back now, guys. Okay, because we're running out of time. All right, guys. Okay. Um, we were you guys were doing a very good job. Um, I sent you guys, I sent to the WhatsApp group guys, the structure. All right, so that's a helper. Let's envía the WhatsApp group guys, la estructura, en todos los tiempos gramaticales, okay? Para que se ayuden. All right. Um, terminenlo guys, si no terminaron, I finish it in your house. And, and tomorrow, I'll review the, the answers with you, okay? Mañana vamos a revisar las respuestas y uh, vamos a tener uh, otra práctica uh, con respecto al mismo tema. Got it? So, um... <laughs> It's it's for it's 13 of you today, guys. Um, I have one person sending a message that that uh, they couldn't they couldn't join the class. So tomorrow, guys, be early, all right? Because I do want to start early, guys. The the earlier everyone is here, the earlier that we can start. So I do want you to start to to come early. And um, if you have any questions, guys, regarding the topic, everybody who has who is here, you know, has um the right to ask me questions, guys. So. If you have a question the top, if you have a question, guys, please hit me up on WhatsApp. And I will be more than glad to answer the questions. Okay, all right. But tomorrow, guys, we're gonna get more practice, right? Um, obviously, guys, we're not gonna get one hour in. We're gonna do like ten practices in one hour. That's impossible. Okay, all right. So tomorrow, guys, I'll see you guys. It's been great seeing you. Have a great night. Good night, guys. Thank you. Goodbye. You Thank too. You. Good night. Yes. Happy night. Bye. Bye.